American English. American English. Teach and learn. American English. <laughs> In this teaching tip topic, Kevin will examine three bad talking habits teachers often exhibit and how to reduce teacher talk time. Welcome, Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin. Today, I'm going to talk about reducing teacher talk. Let's get started. Today, we'll examine three bad habits many teachers have when they talk with students. Becoming aware will help you avoid them. That's me in the picture. And here are three types of unfortunate teacher talkers, the pause eater, the self answerer, and the over explainer. Let's look at the pause eater. Listen to these words from Charles Dickens. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Now with a pause, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Did you notice the difference? Pausing is a powerful tool when you speak. Pausing allows students time to process what you're saying. Pausing also allows you to look around the room to see if students understand. According to many teachers, explaining is an important aspect of their jobs. In situation two here, the teacher explains what's happening at his home. His dog has been sick. A student asks, is that present perfect in the sentence? And here's the re teacher's response, a lengthy grammar explanation. How can you modify your response to reduce teacher talk time? Here's what I try to do. Is that the present perfect? My response, yes, it is. Why not explain more? Well, here's my rationale. I try to answer only what the student asks. I try not to assume that the student wants more. The topic may be important to that student, but not to the rest of the class. Answer short first, and then make an assessment. Does the class seem to want more information? See, the more we explain, the harder it is to reduce teacher talk time. And explaining well is really difficult. I mean, could you explain when to use the prepositions in, on, and at to show location? Yeah, it's pretty difficult. But here is a graphic that does the explaining for you. Instead of explaining, ask students to examine the graphic and then create several sentences using in, on, and at according to what they see. Our third teacher talking type is the self-answerer. Do you ever do this? The self-answerer is worried about wasting time, so he or she gives the answer after a second or two. Perhaps you might recognize this exchange between a teacher and a student. Teacher asks, what's your favorite food, Lilia? Lilia, I like, I like, teacher, ice cream? I bet you like ice cream or chocolate. Yes. This kind of self-answerer lowers the confidence of a learner, and at the same time, it teaches students that they don't need to answer because the teacher will, sooner or later, answer for them. The pause eater, the over-explainer, and the self-answerer are just three examples of teacher talk habits that rob students of the time and confidence to speak English. To talk less as a teacher, be proactive. Film or make an audio recording of your session. You will learn a lot about the way you talk 
and how much you talk. Your speech will be more comprehensible when you do so. Like my pause? I hope we increased awareness about some of the unfortunate habits when we talk as teachers. But the point is to examine what we say in the classroom and ask ourselves this. Does what I'm saying benefit the students? I hope you found these tips useful. Thanks for joining me. To check out other great teaching tip videos, be sure to subscribe to our American English YouTube channel. You can find resources for teachers on the American English website. And if you haven't already, be sure to like us on the American English for Educators Facebook page.